Hello and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Today we're going to go through the process of importing a PDF background image for use in Trimble Field Link software for building layout. The products we're going to be using today are the Trimble Field Link software version 4.2 and beyond, a PDF blueprint for a background image, and the processes we're going to go through are importing that PDF file into our Field Link job file and then creating points from the PDF background for use with layout. Let's go ahead and kind of cover the typical PDF that you would see. So we have here a copy of a, a file from the architect that goes through the actual building itself along with all of the different architectural details, stairways, where the kitchens are going to go, light fixtures, all that kind of stuff. What we're specifically looking for is the foundation plan, which you can see right here. Now because we have all this other information on here that's not going to be used for layout, you want to make sure that you talk to the person that's getting you this file and get them to export out just the foundation plan like you're used to, or like you want to see. So I, I spoke to the the actual designer and he was able to give me just the one sheet with just the plan of, of what I'm looking for. So you can see that here. So we're going to take this and we're going to import it into the job file. Uh, let's go ahead and get into field link software. So I'm going to come into jobs and I'm going to create a new one. We're going to call it PDF import. Go ahead and click create. After the job file is created, we need to bring in that background file. So we'll come into more again, jobs and import. And here is our PDF file. So I'll go ahead and import it. Now it's going to ask you the scale. And the scale of the file is actually going to be on the PDF in a lot of instances. So here we see down down at the side that it's one quarter equals one foot. So we're going to go ahead and use that one quarter inch equals one foot and we're going to do an import. Shouldn't take very long but depending on the amount of line work that you have on the PDF it, uh, it could take a little bit of time. So now that we've got the file in we're going to go ahead and create some points. So we'll come up to create and we're going to create points from model because it's going to treat this as a CAD file would. So here you can see we have our actual file. I'll go ahead and zoom in. We've got dimensions, we've got all the information that you're looking for. Uh, what I recommend doing with any CAD file with people well, the people are going to use is just go ahead and drop in two points right away to verify that your dimensions are proper. So here we have an actual dimension of 26 feet from the outside of the wall over to here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a point out here and then out here. So I've got these two. If I want to change the name of the points or change the layer that they're on, I could. I'm going to leave the point name alone, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer called Layout. Now what I'm going to do is verify the distance between these two points. The PDF told me that it's 26 feet, as illustrated right here. I'm going to use the Distance tool, and I'm going to go from point 101 to 100. And we can see here that we have an error. There's 13 feet when it should be 26. So this one quarter inch scale is actually wrong. I spoke to him after I imported the plan and, and I knew that ahead of time. So what we need to do is go ahead and get rid of these two points. Then we need to re-import this CAD file or this uh, PDF file. So I'm going to go back in, grab the exact same one, and this time I'm going to use a 1A scale and import that in. Now by checking right away with two points, you verify that data is accurate. Uh, and speaking to the designer, he used a different 
method when he exports out so that the quarter inch scale fits, but it doesn't actually come out of the PDF directly from his design program proper. So it's kind of a weird little glitch that he has, but uh, by checking right away, we can, we can verify that. So now what I'm going to do is come in, drop in two points in the same spot, make sure they're on the layout layer, and now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to use that compute tool again. So there now we have the accurate 26 foot distance that we are supposed to have for this file. So now I can come back in and continue to create points on the wall locations for use with uh, my total station for layout. So very quickly and easily we can come through and just point out the drawing Everywhere we need one, we can come through. I'm going to verify. So we actually want one there. This point creation process is extremely quick. So you save quite a bit of time over traditional methods of importing it in, um, or of, of actually manually creating the plan. So I'm going to go ahead and create those. So now you can see we've got all of our points around. But the file itself is a little bit messy still. Well, let's go ahead and finish these off. Having all of this line work information not really that helpful. So what we can do is we can come into the layer manager and we can go ahead and turn off the layers that we don't want to have visible. So here's with the CAD file, or with the, the PDF blueprint imported, and here it is without. What really matters is the actual points. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and I can connect these up using the line work tool. And now very quickly, I have created the outline like I'm used to for the foundation. So just in a few minutes I can go from this large amount of information with all of your data that you need for layout to a much more cleaned up and simplified plan. I can check distances however I want to, verify that yes these are accurate, They're going to be on the actual CAD file. So this one over here was four foot eight. And if I check the dimension up here, you can indeed see that we have four foot eight. So everything is good here. Whether I want the background on of the PDF import or not, I can use that. We can also come in and according to our plan, oh, excuse me, wrong one of the survey we have points out here. We have offsets. So from the back of the building we have an offset stake in the different locations. So right here 15 feet 0.17. So I can use the back wall here. Come into create point manager. This is my offset point tool here. A single point from 101 to 102 using the building line. And if I do 15.17 feet, and it's negative, I will start a point 
before the building corner right here. So I go ahead and click create. And even though I put in one seven, it did the decimal or the, the decimal conversion to feet and inches. So we can go however we want to. If I wanted to add another one, go ahead and minimize, come back in. Off this side of the building, we're set back 10.16 feet. So I can do the same thing over here, single point. And instead of 15, negative 10.16 feet. There's my other offset point. So now I can take my total station out into the field, shoot my two offset points, and lay out my structure very quickly and easily from a import of a PDF. That is going to conclude today's Tech Talk. We thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please contact your nearest building point or Frontier Precision representative, and we'd be happy to show you the product a little more in depth. Thank you. Have a good day.